Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy D. Point bring you yet another YouTube video at this time. So, so we're gonna be doing a blue eyes deck profile for you guys. You know, it's something I've been playing around and messing around with for uh, some time now. So, much in the vein of Rika, you know, when I have a fun deck that I like to play, I'll definitely mess around with it. You know, see what I can do with it. You know, playing on simulators and stuff like that. So. So with all that said, let's go ahead and just get straight into the deck profile. So of course, as always, we're going to start off with the monsters. First, obvious is obvious. You play a blue eyes deck, you play three blue eyes white dragons. Nothing else needs to be said. Next. Three alternatives. Uh, reveal the blue eyes, special summon this card from your hand. And once per turn, this, you, and you can only special summon this card once per turn this way. And once per turn, you can target one, one monster on your opponent's field and destroy it. So that's pretty solid. They could, you know, bait out negation, disruption, and stuff like that. Because you essentially you haven't committed to the board yet, you can use this to, you know, bait out whatever you need to bait out so that you can proceed with plays. Next, we have two blue eyes jet dragons. This card has a, definitely a variety of different effects, and it's definitely a solid card. So let's go ahead and get into this. Firstly, it protects all your other cards from being destroyed by card effects. And essentially, in marauding captain style of fashion, if you have two of these on the field, it literally protects your entire field from being destroyed by card effects. So secondly, it has two other effects that are once per turn effects. Uh, firstly, if a card on the field is destroyed, card or cards on the field is destroyed by a battle of card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand or in the graveyard if it was in the graveyard at the time. And lastly, when this card battles, you can target one card your opponent controls and bounce it back to the hand that's monster or spell and trap. So, you know, there's always a lot of destruction going on, so this card will definitely be live more often than not. Next, we have one blue eyed spirit dragon. Now, this one, when special summon, can okay, banish a spell or trap card your opponent controls. And also, if you have a blue eyes white dragon in, in your hand, you can um, tribute this card to special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. And it's also treated as blue eyes white dragon while on the field and in the graveyard. So, yes, yeah, this card is pretty solid. Being able to banish spell or trap cards is really good, as you know, effects tend to activate when destroyed or are active when they're in the graveyard to activate as well. So, yes. Yeah. Next we have three White Stone of Agents. Now this one while in graveyard can banish itself to add a blue eyes monster from your graveyard to your hand. And during the end phase, you can activate this card effect while in graveyard to special summon a blue eyes monster from your deck. <coughs> so that the second effect is not a hard once per turn, so if you have multiple of these in your graveyard, you can special summon multiple blue eyes monsters during the end phase. Next we have Sage with Eyes of Blue. So you can discard you can discard this card to target a monster you control, destroy it, and then you can special summon a blue eyes monster from your deck. Uh, also, when this card is normal summon, you can add one uh, level one monster, level one light monster from your deck to your hand. That includes Veilers and Maidens if you happen to be playing it, and of course the White Stone of Agents. Next we have Dictator of These Nuts, aka Dictator of D. So you can discard a Blue Eyes from your hand or deck to special summon this card from your hand. And also you can dis uh, discard a card to target a blue eyes monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Uh, also, while this card is up on the field, you can choose 
uh, where your opponent attacks monsters from, where your opponent attacks monsters. So if this is on the field and say you have like a jet dragon or an alternative, your opponent goes to target Dictator of D for an attack, you can switch it to the Blue Eyes Monster instead. You know, effectively redirect an attack and the opponent is taking damage, of course. So, Alright, so this card is definitely pretty solid for the deck as well. Lastly, we got one Honest here. It's a light deck, so why not run some Honest with it? Alrighty, that is it for the Monsters. I'm going to go into the Spells. First we have Melody of Awakening Dragon. Now this card is very integral to the deck. It's, it's you know, pretty much the consistency for the deck in order to get you desired combo pieces in order to set up for your dragon plays. To Return of the Dragon Lord. So this is this special summons level 8 or level 7 dragons from your graveyard. Of course, you know, there's going to be a lot of Graveyard activity with cards like Dragon Shrine and Dictator of D sending dragons from the deck to the graveyard. So this card will definitely be live. And also while it's in the graveyard, when your opponent attempts to destroy your dragons by battle of card effect, banish this from the graveyard to protect it from battle or the initial card effect that was attempting to destroy. Two Dragon Shrines. This sends a normal dragon to the graveyard, and if you do that, you can send another dragon from your deck to the graveyard. So, of course, if you send a normal blue eyes, you can send any other dragon you have to the graveyard. You can go with um, Jet Dragon to set up his summon from the graveyard. You can go with Spirit Dragon to attempt to special summon it from the graveyard and activate its effects. You know, whatever the situation you, you're planning for at the time, this will help you to do that. Ultimate Fusion, this card has some pretty decent effects as well. So of course this is your fusion card to get you into your fusion dragon. So um, you can shuffle um, monsters from your hand, field, or in graveyard into the deck to special summon, you know, to fusion summon a blue eyes monster from your extra deck. And if you uh, use the blue eyes white dragon on the field, to shuffle back in the deck by this card's effect, you can pop cards. Your opponent chose up to the number of cards used, so that would include normal blue eyes, blue eyes alternative since it counts as blue eyes red dragon while on the field, and also blue eyes spirit dragon, which also counts as blue eyes red dragon while on the field. All right, so that's that. Uh, once it was cried, special summon your, your normal blue eyes from the graveyard. Of course, back row 8, Feather Duster, Twin Twister, Green Beat, Dragon Dragon. Now, this is some interesting tech, as it can be comboed with both Alternative and Blue Eyes Dread Dragon. So, if you have it summoned Alternative or Blue Eyes uh, Jet Dragon in a turn, you can put them back. To the hand to heavy storm the field, and then you can resummon either blue eyes alternative by revealing the blue eyes to special summon it, or J Dragon to re to summon himself since cars on the field were destroyed. So some interesting tech there, you know, to further the whole back row hate situation to make your plays from there. Lastly, we have one staple in Claw by the Grave. Alrighty, that is it for the spells. End off with the traps. Well, to the traps. We have two ultimate creature of destruction. Now this card has a few effects. One, you can target one blue eyes on the field. It it's unaffected by card effects. Cannot be targeted, destroyed, or anything like that. Also, when you special summon a blue eyes by dragon to your field, while this card is in your graveyard, you can reset the card to your field in order to activate its effect again. Uh, two True Lights. 
Now this card um, protects your uh, Blue Eyes Red Dragon from being targeted or destroyed by card effects. And uh, it has two different effects. One, two different effects that are once per turn. One, you can either special summon uh, one Blue Eyes Red Dragon from your hand or graveyard. Or you can set a card that lists Blue Eyes White Dragon in its text. Namely, Ultimate C Creature of Destruction, of course. Alright, so of course when this card... As with Eternal Soul, when this card leaves, it's sent to the graveyard from the spell and trap zone. You can just, you have to destroy all monsters you you control. To skill drain, of course. This card combos well with um Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. So there, here's the dynamic between skill drain and Blue Eyes Tyrant. Your skill drain is on the field first. Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon will have its effects negated, but if Tyrant Dragon is on the field first and you activate Skill Drain, Tyrant Dragon will still be unaffected by trap effects while doing all its other stuff to negate your opponent's opposing monster effects, so on and so forth. Lastly, we have three Solemn Judgments. Of course, you guys already know how that works. Alrighty, so that is it for the deck. We're going to go into the extra deck. Alright, first we have Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Now this requires uh, two Blue Eyes White Dragon monsters to summon. So this one, firstly, cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, it can make two attacks on monsters. And um, if it attacks a monster and it's not destroyed by battle, it can banish that monster. It can banish that monster, so has some pretty decent implications there to deal with monsters that cannot be destroyed, or you know, we just have or happen to deal with problematic monsters that this card you no know, can't get over normally with because it's a stronger monster, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, two Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So this card is actually pretty decent as well. Um, firstly, if this card is the only monster you control, and uh, this card did battle, you can send one blue eyes um, monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, and it, it can make a second um, a second and uh, make another attack in a row, which means it can be either on monsters or directly, of course. And of course, and while this card is in the graveyard, if your opponent targets you with the card effect, you can banish this from your graveyard, you can negate that card. So essentially how it works is, you would attack with this monster, you know, inflict damage or either kill a monster. So this effect will activate to send your second copy of Blue Eyes Ultimate to the graveyard from the extra deck. <coughs> <coughs> mm, excuse me. And then it can attack again in a row. So, and of course it has 4,500 attack. If this is happening on a clear board, you hit him for 9,000 damage and attack for a game. So that will essentially be how it works. Last we have for the fusions, we have Blue Eyes Tyra Dragon. Now this was sort of what I was alluding. Now this requires two Blue Eyes monsters to make. So firstly, it's unaffected by trap effects, when I mentioned the skill drain. And when this, this card can attack monsters your opponent controls, one each. And when this card inflicts battle damage, you can um, target a trap in your graveyard and set it to your field. So this card has some pretty decent effects when combo with skill drain to being able to you know, stop your opponent from activating monster effects, of course, and this being a 3400 attack monster that's unaffected. So, you know, could have some, that's where your control aspects of the deck come into play. Alright, so that is it for the fusions. XYZs now, we got the Galaxy Eyes package, of course, to, you know, 
This one can get up to some pretty obscene levels of attack, depending on, you know, what other exes you may have on the field at the time, as it gets powered up for each. And this one essentially pops a card, you know, on your opponent's field for free, basically. Next we have Hope Harbinger Titanic Galaxy, negates the spells um, and absorbs the spell as material and it can redirect the text, you know, of your opponent's monsters. Thunder and Dragon is essentially a dark hole requiring two level 8 monsters. It said that detaches the material to destroy all other monsters on the field. Of course, you have your Numeron and Draglubion package. That's for your OTK. This becomes a 9,000 attack, and you just attack for a game. Uh, next, we have uh, Heretic Dragon of Heliopolis. This is another rank 8 that detaches material and tributes monsters on your field to pop that many cards. Pop, you know, as many cards as was tributed to activate this card effect. On your opponent's side of the field, of course. Now this is our uh, number 46, Drag Loom. So this has three different effects, and unfortunately it has to be the only card on the field, only monster you control. So it does three different things. One, it spits some of the dragon from your hand. Two, it can stop your dragon monsters from activating their effects until the end of the opponent's stops your opponent's Dragon monsters from activating their effects until the end of the turn. And it can also take control of one of your opponent's face up dragon type monsters. So that's some pretty decent effects there. And lastly, we have the Blue Eye Spirit Dragon uh, Synchro Package. So, Blue Eye uh, Spirit Dragon negates the graveyard effect. Also, it can tag itself out to special summon a, a light dragon monster from the extra deck. But destroys it during the, end, during the end phase. So it targets, of course, you can summon Moonlight and Black Lotus Dragon when special summoned or when a level 5 or higher monster is special summoned. You can target that monster and return it to the hand. Uh, Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, of course, one of the oldies but goodies. Uh, when it's uh, special summoned, it can protect your dragons before being targeted or destroyed by card effects until the end of your opponent's turn. Also, it can special summon a dragon type normal monster from your graveyard during the standby phase. So it also protects its, it protects itself from spirit dragon's destruction effect since it can't be destroyed when it's special summoned from the field. Alrighty, guys, that is it for the deck profile. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments, of course, and I will get back to you on that. So, I will leave that at that. So, I'll be bringing you guys more videos in the meantime, but until then, peace is YouTube.